Hey there guys, welcome to the next time lapse here on the channel. Uh, probably going back about three or four years, probably the most requested wallet that I've ever gotten on the channel was a musical wallet, as I typically call it. It was kind of a yellow wallet with a black uh, musical notes on it, and it was a feature of one of my collections volumes a couple years back. And people would always ask me, you know, how to make that wallet. So this is kind of a, I guess, not really a tutorial, but kind of a time lapse based on how I made that wallet. It's been years. I'm still getting requests on how I, how exactly I made it. So. You're pretty much going to see it take place right before your eyes here, but uh, it basically involved a whole bunch of musical notes on the wallet, and it kind of involved something really cool with the credit card holders, which I'm making right now on the one side. So I'm going to be showing this to you uh, as we're making it here. So just making the all yellow wallet, you know, yellow and black were the two main colors, and it's definitely one of my favorite wallets because, definitely because it's so popular, but. Uh, you can definitely tell it, it got a lot of great reviews. Um, I'm going to be making the, the the lines for the music numbers, to go, the musical uh, annotation to go on now. I know nothing about musical annotation, um, you know, putting down music onto paper. So I, I, I made that clear when I made the wallet a long time ago. And a whole bunch of people got back to me telling me I put the, the wrong... Um, the wrong notes and the wrong places and everything like that, but I have no idea what I'm doing here. It's more or less just making it look cool. It has nothing to do with actual, you know, musical numbers or anything like that. So now I'm putting a whole bunch of kind of black stripes on there, and I'm usually sticking those right on the top of the credit card holders, and that's what makes this um this whole wallet kind of cool because the pockets kind of disappear behind the musical notes when you stick them onto those those lines, and that's the really cool part. So I just went on the, on the internet, print out a whole bunch of musical notes here. Like I said, I, I have no idea where these specifically go. It's just, you know, a wallet just to make it look cool and kind of give it a nice musical theme to it. And this one, of course, I, I think I know this one goes on the far left. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure it does. Like I said, I'm not really sure, but it did. I did put on the far left in my original wallet, so I'm going to be putting that on the far left once again. After I cut all these out, I'll be sticking the three musical notes onto the um, front of the wallet as well. Now, that's what the original one had. So just peeling these up, sticking them onto the lines here. Like I said, no particular place whatsoever, just making it look nice. And there, of course, you have it. I'll be kind of, uh, you can see that that's where the credit card holders are. I'm going to be kind of trimming it so that the credit cards can go in. And these are the musical notes that are going to go on the outside of the wallet. And that was pretty much the whole thing. I made a small ID pocket for the right side, and I didn't cover that up at all because uh, it, the focus of the wallet was really the credit card holders on the left with the the musical notes on it. But uh, and the outside was, of course, where the all these musical notes are going. But yeah, I've gotten probably close to a hundred requests since I made this wallet about uh, three or four years ago. It's definitely, like I said, the most requested wallet I've ever had on the channel, beating out a lot of the other popular ones that I've made since then. So. Definitely wanted to kind of pay tribute to all those requests that definitely asked me, you know, time and time again to make a tutorial on it, but couldn't film a tutorial just for a specific wallet because once you make it for one, the requests really never end for every kind of wallet that you've ever made and shown on the channel. So, so sticking all these on and just in kind of different places. A lot of these are very difficult because there's a lot of tiny lines. If you don't peel it up very carefully, the whole thing comes apart, which happened a lot with this last note that I'm about to do. So I kind of had to very carefully peel it up and kind of do it all in a bunch of different pieces. One piece actually did get lost. You can see on the loop there on the inside. So I had to cut out a separate piece here, kind of just eyeball it and come up with a nicer piece and stick it on. So a relatively simple wall, but it does look very cool. I'll show you how, kind of how the uh, the pockets disappear right now. So I grab my Burger King card, of course, my famous Burger King Star Wars card, and I'll show you exactly. See, it kind of just disappears into the wallet because those lines definitely kind of make you focus on those and the musical notes instead of the card po pockets. So it's kind of just really cool how they kind of just disappears there. With the card in it, you can definitely see it, but without that, they kind of just disappear into the wallet. So if you guys like the uh, video, there will be uh, at least one tutorial coming tomorrow. I'm hoping to film two tomorrow. I might be able to film one tomorrow and then one the day after tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. But hope you like the video and watch out for at least one tutorial coming tomorrow.